Ladies and gentlemen, there's something that I have to tell you that the Lord revealed to me this morning. I've explained to you before about legal rights with demons, how they gain entrance, about strongholds, soul ties, bonds, demonic contracts, permanent binding spells. Um, I explained to you before about how uh, what happens when you sell your soul to the devil or make a demonic pact. Um, this is pertaining to generational spirits, spirits of transference, this particular video. If you have, and, and not just spirits of transference, any sin for that matter, if you have a child that was born out of wedlock, in other words, you hooked up with someone, you had a kid, and that was a union that was not ordained by God. That child would be considered a bastard according to biblical scriptures. That child will be considered a bastard. Now, excuse me. If you marry the father of your child, the natural father of your child, okay? And that marriage is blessed by God and ordained by God and it's a godly union. Told you, marriage, man and woman for uh, one flesh. No sexual immorality, no history of adultery, no history of fornication. Okay, and even if you did had even if you did have fornication or adultery in your past, let's say you confessed those sins, you repented of it, you went through the correction, so that those sins and all sins can be washed away by the blood of the Lamb, and then you met that woman or that man for the first time. You never been married before, okay? Let's say instead of getting married, you had a child with each other. Until you get married, that child is considered a bastard, an unclean seed, because it was born out of the covenant of marriage. Okay? It is cons that child is considered unclean, meaning a child. Until that child is cleansed, it would be considered a child of Satan, because it was born into sin. Meaning, the child was born unclean. Now, because of Eve, what she did in the garden, we were all born unclean. But then we had to get water baptized, confess our sins, repent of them, go through corrections so they could be washed away by the blood of the Lamb so we can become children of the light, children of God. Okay? Right? All right. So if you have a child, the point is, if you have a child that was born out of wedlock and that child has not become water baptized yet, to cleanse that child because that child is still below the accountability age, right? And that child, even though the child was born into sin, that child can still be cleansed by water baptism the right way. Because that child is below the accountability age. So that child, being a newborn and all, wouldn't know the difference between right and wrong. But that child still has a chance to be cleansed and purified by offering that child on the altar of Jesus Christ so the child can be baptized via water. Amen? But until you do that, okay, this is, this is what I need to tell you. For that child to be clean, you too, because if that child is a bastard child, that child is considered unclean. That means that it, that child is a potential vessel for demons. Because the child is already unclean, an unclean house, Technically, demons would have legal rights to that child because of, one, because of generational spirits would have legal rights to that child and demons in general, okay? Because that child is unclean, born out of wedlock, which is a sin, a parental sin in this case. But if you too, the mother and father, confess, repent of your sins, go through the corrections, they can be washed away by the blood of the lamb, and if you're not water baptized, you get water baptized, then you both get married. In a union that is godly and ordained by God, that child will become clean. And then you could take that child and get that child water baptized. And Satan will not have any rights to that child at all. That child will be a child of light, as you two will be. Okay? I just had to explain that to you. Because I had someone email me and ask me about that this morning. And if she's watching, um, the, the scriptures does talk about children being born out of wedlock how they are unclean 
how they are unclean because they're born out of the covenant of marriage. And it goes on the other respect as well. If you are in an ungodly marriage, okay, man and woman, and you have a child, that child will be considered unclean. Research the marital laws. I already explained to you what's considered an ungodly marriage. Research it. A child born in those types of marriages are unclean. And the only way for that child to be unclean, let's say, for example, I'll give you one, one of the marital laws says that if you as a wife left your husband for anything other than sexual immorality or lust, you divorce your husband for anything other than that and you marry another man, your remarriage will be considered an adulterous marriage. And if you have a child with that man, that child will be considered unclean. And you would be charged with the sin. For you to con repent, you would have to confess, repent of your sins, go through the blood, um, go through the correction so you can be washed by the blood of the Lamb. The sin could be washed by the blood of the Lamb, that the wrong could be undone. And then you would have to marry your first husband to make up for this. It's in the law, it's in the scriptures, ladies and gentlemen. But that child will still be unclean in the Most High's God's eyes. Okay? That child will still be considered unclean. You cannot take an unclean thing and try to make an offering on a clean altar. You can't do that. That child, as he or she grows older, will have a choice to come on her or his own to Jesus Christ. And when that child makes the choice, that child can be water baptized. That child can confess their sins, repent of it, and become a child of the light. If the child is unclean, Okay, again, due to an ungodly marriage. And let's say that the mother doesn't marry the first husband that she divorced for any reason other than adultery. And she remarries again. Again, that's considered an adulterous marriage. And if they have a child together, that child will be considered unclean. You can't make an, off an unclean offering on an altar of God. Because that uh, unclean offering will be destroyed and so will the person trying to make that unclean offering. You could take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. Read yourselves a book of Exodus, Leviticus. It's in there, ladies and gentlemen, and Deuteronomy. Be blessed.